aircraft a couple of meters above you actually flying is something really, really special and it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. I love the idea of flying such a formation. It's simply something special for me. I'm a big fan of airplanes in general. So a little fan in me is just gonna be standing here watching the show, all excited. It's the day of the shoot of our stunt. Usually we see big mountains in the background. The weather is not playing along. So we will use the day for rehearsal because it's very tricky stunt. We are in Slovakia at Poprat Airport and uh, we're going to film here formation with this beautiful aerobatic airplane. This time with no other airplane but actually with the Formula 1 car. And to make it even more interesting, I'll fly inverted and very close to the Formula 1. Minimum distance for our formation is 1.5 meters. That's a safe distance for this formation, so we are keeping 1.5 meters minimum. The great thing about in making this film, it's real. It, the, you know, when the aircraft is a few meters above the car on the, the airfield, that is real. That is the skill of Martin. It's you know, professional at the top of his game. We're going to be shooting it from the heli, from the Flying Bulls uh, heli team, with Blackie behind the steering, which is one of the legends in this field. The biggest challenge right now is to make the really, really amazing storyboards and ideas that Marcus made into something that is both doing judgment to the storyboard and is absolutely safe to do. And uh, for me, always, I will break up. Because we are having some vehicles here with high speed operating in close proximity to each other. And we really, really want to make sure that nothing can go, go wrong here. And on the end of the day, we look at some amazing footage that really resembles the thing that Marcus thought of in the first place. We both have very limited vision. I need to more or less look to the front to be able to control the height of the airplane. Also, the driver has to look to the front and he cannot move his head because of the neck protections. So we had to solve this problem. So we made a special uh, mirror to sit on top of the steering wheel so we could look up and see the plane. We got the right angle of the mirror. Uh, when the plane come into shot and near, near the car, he was able to look in the mirror and just move the car accordingly so it's directly underneath the plane. The last few weeks I have spent watching the, the, the F1 uh, GPs, especially those in very heavy rain conditions. I need to, to see the airflow behind the, the Formula 1, the turbulence behind the Formula 1. We cooperated with the, with the Red Bull Racing team and so it was super interesting for me. Martin is ready to you. We got the mountains in the background, Martin is in the air and we're ready for the first shot. of the limited length of the runway, I have to actually command the Formula 1 and the, the Russian armed car. It means we find a bot, on which we are going to be able to get into your speed. At this time, we are going to get into Formula 1, which is going to get into the speed, and we are going to get into the speed, and we are going to get into the speed. Martine, ještě se zeptám, může Russian Arm blíž k tobě, ke středu? Může jít blíž k němu, ale ten řidič jeď to vydá. Pojď, 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 Russian Arm, jeď, jeď, jeď. Hey David, nice to be around. Thanks Martin, first one to the finish line. Mamma, we did it.